Greetings, my unique Librans. Uh, this is Soul Intuitive Tarot for Unique Souls. Uh, first and foremost, uh, I want to welcome you to my channel. This is going to be a general love reading for the month of July 2015 for my unique Librans, and others are welcomed as well. Uh, I, I Before I begin, I want to, you know, thank my new subscribers you know, all the comments, um, you know, the sharing of my videos, um, private messages, you know, the outpour of kind words and, you know, letting me know for me to keep up with, you know, the work that I'm doing. Um, I'm honored and I'm very happy. Um, as I, you know, stated before in, in previous videos, I didn't know where this uh, project was going to, um, or how it was going to take off, but I'm getting a positive response, and uh, that really makes me feel good, so I appreciate the love, um, but I just want to, you know, clear a couple of things up, or at least pass on some messages and whatnot. First, I'm, I have to let you know I'm, I'll be going on vacation for uh, two weeks, and we'll resume the weekly readings, uh, I think the week of July 13th. Also, um, the readings that I have been doing so far, uh, as I started out in doing was to target, uh, you know, individuals, um, as I call them, unique souls that are into same sex relationships, but I've been getting a lot of emails and uh, messages uh, saying that, you know, my readings are resonating with them, but they're not into same-sex relationships. So I'm just, you know, putting it out there. I'm not singling anyone out. You know, it's not a private channel, and everyone is welcomed um, to view my uh, videos. And I really appreciate, you know, the responses, the positive responses um, that I've been getting. So... I'm still going to continue to focus on uh, same-sex relationships, but as I said before, um, it's you know my readings are welcomed and open to everyone. So, uh, before I begin your reading, um, you know I'll be listing the decks in the description box underneath the video. If anyone is interested in uh, knowing which decks I use for the reading. Um, let me see. I think that's about it. I covered it. So let's get into this reading for my unique Librians and others. I did a overview of the spread that I have for you, um, this month of July. And it seems like there's a mixed bag of stuff going on with, uh, a few of you, you know, and, and as I said before, these readings are general and it may not apply to everyone, but it will touch base with someone. So as I'm, I'm looking over, there's a lot of stuff going on with my Librians that I'm trying to digest the information and get the, you know, the information from my spirit guide to push out what I'm, you know, what I have to pass on to you. So just bear with me. So going into the month of July and, and I'm always, even though we're doing July, we're only a couple days away. I'm, you know, I'm picking up energy from a week ago for most of you, some of you. Uh, and right now, what you have in your first position is the uh, world card in reverse. And that world card is a major arcana card. This is you in your first position. Either energy that has been lagging or, you know, it's the energy you're carrying into July. But some of you, I'm picking up that you're not feeling complete. Um if you're partnered within a relationship. 
for my singles, then, you know, you're feeling the same way. You feel somehow incomplete when it comes to love. Um, the world card usually is a, you know, a completion card and an end of a cycle and start of a new cycle. But some of you are, some of you are stuck somewhere in the love department. And if you're already partnered, then some of you are feeling incomplete within that relationship. And since this is a general love reading, then I'm just, you know, I'm going to put it out there and say that some of you aren't feeling loved enough. Um, yeah, that's what I'm getting. So we have the world card in the first position. And like I said, some of this energy is carrying over from uh, a few weeks back. And to validate that, we have the Three of Cups in reverse. And, you know, the Three of Cups normally is all about, you know, celebrating and, and going out and having a good time with friends or, you know, even, you know, with yourself. But in a relationship, uh, some of you aren't feeling... Uh, some of you aren't feeling in the festive mood and I connected with the world uh, world card that you got and uh, tying it into how I'm picking up for some of you not feeling, you know, uh, complete within a relationship. And uh, because it is the cups card, it's, it's, it's emotions. So some of you are not feeling emotionally satisfied or fulfilled within a partnership or if you're single and you're dating, the same thing applies. Um, so this is what you're, this is what's crossing you, and some of you are experiencing this, um, this energy right now, going into the month of July. In your recent past, uh, going back from six months to a year, we had the tower in reverse. So this is what uh, I'm getting about this you know, particular card and information that's being fed to me uh, by my uh, guide, that some of you had to deal with some sort of um, upheaval, upheavals and some sort of destruction. It, it could have been, if you were within the partnership, then, you know, it might have been, it may have been the, the partner that you were with. The relationship in itself was just completely uh, unsettling. But some of you have... Uh, overcame that upheaval and, um, you know, destruction and turmoil. And some of the energy that I'm picking up is still carrying over because it's in the reverse. Uh, if it was in the upright and it's in your past position, six months to a, to a year, then that means that it, whatever took place within the relationship that could have ended within that time, then it was over. But some of you are still, you know, uh, piecing it together or trying to keep things uh, together within a relationship that you're currently in, if you're partnered. And for the singles, it, there was some sort of um, possibly some sort of uh, upheaval or destructive uh, behaviors from, you know, either experienced um you know, coming from you towards another person or the, the, the person that you were dealing with was had, you know, destructive behave, behaviors. Okay, and your recent past, we have the, and we're going back as far as six months. Um, we have the Six of Cups in reverse, and this is telling me that for some of my Librans, you may have, within a six months period of time, been, you know, may have gone back to uh, uh, someone from your past. Of course, this is the, in the past position that you once dealt with or had a relationship with. But because it's in the reverse, I think that it, it, if you've gone back to the relationship, some of you probably have felt that it was a mistake and you and you weren't you know emotionally uh fulfilled 
um, within that relationship or, you know, having that decision to go back to that person. Somebody from your past um, you went back to or tried to revisit and, uh, you know, a romantic situation, but it was not to the best of your interest to do that because you were still left emotionally, you know, satisfied. I'm sorry, emotionally unsatisfied within that uh, reunion or reconnect. And it may have had uh, a lot to do with um, situation here with the tower being in the reverse, you know, things that were still basically the same um, prior to doing an exit the first time. For some of you, not all of you, this is a general reading. So where we stand right now, uh, my Librans, going into the card that's in your future outcome position now, we have the hangman. This is a major arcana as well. So some of you either need to change your percep perception about a relationship or, you know, um, if not your perception, then some of you are like in feeling like in limbo within a current relationship or even someone who's single and, and dating. And I say that because you're not really sure um, if the relationship that you're in is right for you or if, you know, you need to, you, you know, you need to make a move, but you're in uh, limbo right now. So maybe you're deciding on what to do as far as either, you know, ending things or, you know, moving forward with the relationship. We have here the Five of Swords. Now, someone, some of you, are in some sort of, uh, or have been, no, some of you, will be in battle mode with either someone you're dating or within a relationship coming up in July. And it's a lot of mental shit going on in conflicts. And if you see in the card, the guy is with his middle finger up and the person below him, I don't know if you can see that too well, below him is like, you know, more or less bowing down or whatever. So this guy here is, you know, just basically flipping the bird. So just be careful of, you know, getting yourself into any arguments with your significant others or, you know, for the singles who are dating uh, because it's coming up for some of you. And uh, it's a lot of, uh, you know, unrest, mental shit going on. So be careful of that. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Where you see yourself or in your self position, we have a, a very good card. This is the Ace of Pentacles. And even though this is uh, the Pentacles are representative of, you know, money, uh, you know, generally, but this is a love reading. So it's all about new beginnings uh, for ones, for my Librans who are looking for love. Uh, July is going to be, you know, a good month to put yourself out there to make yourself available. For the couples or the partners that are, you know, in a, a relationship, this is, a, you know, telling me that it's a strong foundation. And For some of you, it's, you know, harmonious, and it, it's the start of new things, you know. It's like planting seeds and, and watch, you know, watching the seeds germinate. So the, the love that you have for each other is going to, you know, grow even more. So this is where you are in your self-position. But for my singles, it's telling me that there's an opportunity for you to meet someone uh, in the month of July that could be of uh, Earth sign, uh, Capricorn, uh, Taurus, or Virgo. So it's the start of new things, and, you know, this is a love reading, so I'm placing it in the love aspect or sector for you guys. 
Okay, to next to that, we have the Eight of Wands in reverse. And the, the card is telling me basically that, you know, either some of you are waiting to hear of a, you know, a commitment from someone and it hasn't arrived yet. You, you know, you're, and that takes me back to the hangman because the limbo, you know, you don't know, you know, if it's not you directly that if you're waiting for, you know, to hear about whether or not someone you, you've been dating is uh, going to make it, uh, you know, going to commit in a relationship. And so you're still up in the air about hearing any news. So the news is still going to be delayed a little bit with that individual, if that is the case. And to solidify that and, and connect it with the aid of... Uh, Eight of Wands in reverse, we have the Hierophant, which is a major arcana card, and, and that's all about unions and, you know, marriage and uh, commitment. So this only um, validates for me that some of you are waiting to hear of, you know, someone wanting to commit, or you waiting for someone to commit in a relationship and, and take things further. Uh, and this could also include, you know, um, making it legal through a marriage and and trying to stay away from the positions you know it is in your hopes and fears position so some of you are hoping to hear from someone that you may have been dating and, and you have an interest in but they have not sort of like made it official so you're waiting to hear or you're just waiting for them to commit And in your future outcome, we have the best card you can get, and it's the lover's card. So the love is going to be there for the ones that are looking for love. And to apply it to people who are already partnered, it's just you, you, the love for each other that you have is just going to be more harmonious and uh, emotionally fulfilling. And also the ones who are, you know, looking for love, there's a potential uh, male or female Potential of meeting a um, a Gemini. Yeah, that's what I'm strongly picking up, Gemini. And although this card is associated with the you know the Gemini's, I still get the Gemini's anyway from my guide. So there's a potential of you meeting at least three people, um, possible suitors, the ones who are single and looking for love. Not that all of them are going to be Gemini's, but I'm I'm feeling strongly that they're you know you're going to meet somebody who's either Gemini or has air qualities in their signs. It could be Aquarius. It could be a um, let's see Gemini, Aquarius, and uh, yourself, your own sign, Libra. I'm sorry. <laughs> so um, be you know be on the lookout for that. Okay, so that's a good card to have. Uh, basically, I just see there's, you know, in, the, in doing a recap, with the world card and the reverse, some of you are feeling incomplete with, you know, within a partnership. If you're single, then you're, you're feeling um, that you're not complete because you're not in a partnership. And for others, um, and because the card that's crossing you is the Three of Cups. And that's all about emotions and, and celebrations, you know, like, and, and, and merriment, enjoyment with, you know, friends and others when it's in the uh, upright position. But it's crossing you in the reverse position. So some of you aren't feeling that, that joy and that merriment right now if you're in a situation where you're, you're feeling... Um, you know, emotionally deprived or, or, or just not happy. Uh, in your recent distant past, you have the tower in reverse, which is a major arcana. And that is uh, telling me that some of you have um, dealt with some uh, upheavals and, uh, you know, destructive behaviors within the, uh, if you were partnered. 
Um, what you've, you know, you've overcome that. In your recent past, um, I see some of you have, you know, returned to an ex lover um, that was on, you know, offer. Could have been from a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Someone that you either dealt with or had a, a romantic relationship with in the past, uh, but I'm feeling that it didn't work out and that it was a mistake on your part to go back. Sometimes, you know, you have to leave the past in the past because that's why it's the past, you know? It's just like um, you can't attach any... Uh, significance to you know the fact that oh well you know if we're, i'm going back and you know there might be some sort of uh you know spark of chemistry reignited and stuff like that and sometimes people go off track and think that oh well this person must be my soulmate well no you're, you're only playing yourself on that one um because nine times out of ten is not the case but some of you have drifted backwards uh, so we're going back as far as six months to someone you dealt with in a relationship or have been in a relationship with and things didn't go right. And, um, but even after going back, you, you still felt the same way that you did the first time. So you walked away from that or you're leaving it alone. Then I have some of my unique Librians and others that are that are in limbo right now. Uh, this has to do with either your perception of if your partner, your perception of how things should go in a relationship and are not going that way. For others, it's just that you, you know you're you're in limbo with regards to uh, possibly you know pursuing a um, you know a, a potential love interest so you're just you know basically hanging for some of you are just hanging in limbo all right for others who may be partnered you have the five of uh swords and this is all about uh conflict and uh you know, all about conflicts and, you know, battles with uh, others in your life. It usually, to me, indicates a uh, a loss, but I'm not, I'm not really picking that up. But then again, you know, some of you may, may, you know, end the relationship. See, and I have to admit that because it's underneath the world card and, and it's the, you know, the world card is in reverse, then it might have to do with um, if your partner, the, the, the way the relationship is going or not going. And you've, you may, you know, excuse me, you may reach a point of just saying, you know what, it's not working now, you know, just... This is why the guy is flipping the bird in the picture. You know, I'm just, I'm done with this, you know, no more. That's for some of you. It's not going to be the case for all of you. And um, that ties in with the three of cups that's crossing you about feeling emotionally unfulfilled and, and not really, you know, being in a happy place within a relationship. And, uh, some of you are hearing or waiting to hear of news of someone, a commitment from someone. Some of you may, some of you may actually uh, marry next month. Yeah. And then you know, like I said, the the outcome card is the six of, uh, I mean the lovers card. If I said six of cups before, I apologize. 
but we have the Six of Cups in your uh, reverse position in the past. So this is the lovers, and it's a good card. It's all about harmony and uh, togetherness. And for my singles, there's potential of, you know, three suitors out there. And I'm strongly feeling that uh, one of them is a Gemini. So that's a good sign. So July is open. So all in all, it's not really a bad month. It's just that I feel that, um, see, Libras are all about striking a balance. And I know damn well if you're not feeling balanced, and this is why you got the world card in the reverse, that's the, the you feeling incomplete and stuff. Because we're, Libras are all about having to be balanced, you know, in their lives and all aspects. Love, even more so than, you know, family life and, you know, work, job, and, and friendships and stuff like that. They each individual sign has their own unique thing to them. And for Libras, um, it's all about being balanced and, and fair in all situations. So I think that, like I said before, some of you do, are feeling like you're not complete within a partnership. For the singles, I say again, it could be that, you know, you feel incomplete because you don't have a partnership and you need to strike that balance. Because all areas all other areas of your life could be going perfectly fine but it's that that love that might be missing from your life to balance everything out for you and so with the ace of pentacles in your um you know your self position going into the month of july you know there's a ten there's a potential of meeting you know like an earth sign capricorn virgo taurus and if you do, that person is, you know, grounded and, you know, stable and, you know, very serious. So you have the energy of, excuse me, you have the energy for the month of July to meet, this is for my singles, to meet, uh, you know, an earth sign or a another air sign. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so like I said, it's not, that's not really bad. It's just that, you know, somewhere you're going to have those fights and those those conflicts, you know, with your significant other in the month of July. Um, and, yeah, and then again, some of you may, you know, walk away from that situation. And, and I think this is why the hangman is in the future position because it's like, oh, you're in limbo. You don't know... Um, you know, what to do about your current situation or at least the relationship situation. But it has to do with altering your perception and your, um, you know, just altering your perception about what it is that you're dealing with or what you um, can change about, you know, your situation. Okay, so that's oh. I think that's about it. All right, so I pulled a card from Angela Hartfield's uh, Whispers of Oracle deck, and we have uh, on the card, it says on the bottom of the card, back to what you love. Your current situation is giving you an opportunity to reevaluate what you want. Well, you know what? This coincides with the reading. That's the hangman, the limbo. Some of you are feeling in limbo about a uh, current situation or relationship. And it's just the card is saying to me to pass on to you that your, your current situation is giving you an opportunity to reevaluate what you want. And that's why the hangman is in your future outcome position. That's what that is all about. Um, so some of you need to uh, address some things that uh, you need to bring to the forefront about your uh, current situation, your 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 relationship. And um, for others, I think it's just.
it could be just minor issues going on with the uh, you know within the relationship that just needs to be you know ironed out and settled some of you again are just not feeling complete you need that balance you need to strike a balance uh, within the, a relationship Cool. Some of you were waiting for news of a commitment, and some of you may be entering into a legal situation with a significant other in the month of July. Okay. All right, so that's all I have for my unique uh, Librans for the month of uh, July. This is a general love reading. Uh, 2015 um, I want to say again I thank you all for your love and support of uh, what I'm doing in my channel and I hope this the, the reading resonates with you I know it will resonate with someone um, Sorry about that. I, I was being fed additional information, but I think it's it's for my last sign, Virgo. But um, it's not related to you. So yeah, again, thank you for visiting my channel. Uh, please like, share, uh, subscribe, uh, comment, dislike. It doesn't matter. Um, I appreciate everything. So I'm wishing my... Unique Librans and others are very, very safe and um, blessed month of July. And as I said before, it doesn't, overall, this is not bad. You have the Ace of Pentacles and you have the lovers working in your favor. No matter what situations that you're dealing with, you have those two uh strong cards working for you. And then, of course, the the lovers is a major arcana. So that's very, very positive. So again, um, until the next time, uh, love and light. Bye.